Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematics Gains. This is kind of an episode. It's probably gonna be as long as an episode, but honestly, it's just me opening mail. And I got a new spinning box, um, so we're gonna open that. And um, yeah, obligatory Godzilla bag photo. <laughs> I love this bag so much. And and Aquila sent me a keychain for it. You guys gotta check that out. Aquila of the Lefty Knitter Podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna put stitch markers on it. I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna sew a tab on the inside so I can put the keychain inside. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, this is... The Godzilla bag that I love. Okay. <laughs> I haven't put anything in it yet, but we're going to put something in it right now. How about that? So last night I decided to break out my whips and I went back to work on my Brooklyn Raglan, which honestly, I'm almost done with the body. I don't know why I put it down. Um, it's probably tired of helical knitting. Anyway, <laughs> my Brooklyn Raglan. See, I'm almost done. Look at that. Almost done. I mean, I could make it, what's it called? What's it called? Where the shirt's not long enough. Whatever. I can make it that. Cropped. That's it. <laughs> I'm too chubby for crops. Um, but I mean, I could do that. This is still bothering me. Um, even though I'm doing helical knitting, two of my skeins were more yellow than the rest. So it, it there's like a distinct line here and it's bothering me and it's literally like right at my boobs. So I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but I still love the sleeve detail. However, it's so tedious to do because, you know, pearl knit, pearl knit. Ugh. Um, I'm kind of thinking about making it a short sleeved because I don't feel like continuing it. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But I'm working on this again. So what we're going to do is take it out of my home row craft bag and pop it into my Godzilla bag. <laughs> now there's a sweater project in it. You know what I might do? I might do like one of those like photo uh, card thingies for the episodes instead of my little like cinematic skeins apple thingy, iMovie, whatever that thing is with the stars and the whatever. I might switch that out and put like my name in this bag with like yarn falling out of it or something. <laughs> it's cinema themed, right? Right? All right. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, I've been working on that. And some of you who are following on the Instagram have already seen this, but I finished the cowl I was working on. I still haven't blocked it. So <laughs> the ribbing still curls up, whatever. I'm thinking about cutting it off because um, <laughs> it's irritating me. But I finished it. There you go. I made, I, I crocheted, I did a two color crochet for the cord, which I think looks pretty cool. So I put a drawstring in. It's my first time doing a drawstring on anything. So yay, drawstrings. Um, but yeah, it looks like that. I am redesigning it a little bit. One, I'm fixing my maths so things are equidistant apart because it's bothering me. And then I'm changing the film reel to have like a little space, Ugh, hold it, spaces in here so it doesn't look like an orange slice because that was bothering me too. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I've gotten a couple messages asking if I'm gonna release the pattern. I mean, I guess. There's my driver's license. Why did I put it in there? Oh, I took this to the doctor's office. That's why. Let me set that aside. <laughs> yeah, couldn't find my driver's license. I'm like, hope I don't get pulled over. Anyway, <laughs> random. Did I introduce myself? Tammy, cinematic skeins. I dye, knit, crochet, spin, sew a little bit. And I forget what I'm talking about, go off on tangents and my dogs interrupt me. They're a little tired right now because we just got back from a car ride because I needed a pumpkin spice chai. Um, so <laughs> they're okay. But anyway, that's done. Um, I mean, if you guys want the pattern, I can release it. I can put it on Ravelry, I guess. I guess. I mean, I did PDF it, so. 
but I need to work on it and finish tweaking the maths of it all because that one film cell was bothering me and then I need to fix the film reels and the spacing and ribbing. Granted, I think what I'm gonna do is like do whatever ribbing you want to do <laughs> for this many stitches. I did it uh, folded over him because I like the look of it. Um, and you know, folded over him works really well for dry for drinks. So there you go. Anyway, did that. <laughs> I have so much stuff to open. I'm so excited. Oh, and I finally opened the package that had my yarn counter in it. So I just want to show that to you guys. I haven't put batteries in it yet, so I haven't gotten to use it. Just jumping all over the place. That's what I do. But that's the yarn counter. It's tiny and light and will help me figure out yardage on my hand spun. And also yardage on my leftovers because I have lots of leftovers. And at our last knit night, I threw out the suggestion that we should have like a scrap trade because um, I've been wanting to do that for a bit and I couldn't figure out how to do it like with you guys. But I wanted to do like a scrap trade because like I was telling y'all, when I do socks, I usually only use half a skein of yarn. So I have a lot of like over 50 grams sitting around the house that I'm not going to use again, especially as far as the self-striping goes. Yeah, so... <laughs> I want to part with it and trade it off to somebody else for something I'll actually use. So yeah, hopefully we're going to do that. It was a suggestion. People seemed interested in it. Um, hopefully that's going to happen. But in preparation for it, I'm going to rescan some stuff that's caked up and do a yardage count on it as I do it. So I can like write down like how many yards, like I'm going to put the grams of course, but I want to write down how many yards approximately. And this is a pretty good approximately with this um, will be in the skeins so people have a more accurate representation of the yarn I'm trying to trade. That took forever to say. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let's see. Flip through this book. I showed you guys this last time. You know, the only thing in here, <laughs> you know, I said I won't buy a pattern book if there aren't more than five things I'd make. Here's the thing with this book. I would make things with the charts that are in here but I wouldn't make most of these items because they're not very me but that butterfly blanket that you see like everywhere that's in here okay so yeah okay um showed you guys this last time but I just wanted to I flipped through it a little bit and here's one of the things I like about the book color-coded explanations love that um so yeah i do recommend this knitting bag of tricks book it's pretty cool there's lots of tips in here that i think are really helpful particularly like i mentioned the um jogless color work is especially awesome and i did use that on the cowl i made which is why you can't really tell for the most part, except where I messed up my maths. Um, you can't tell that it's the beginning of the round, like it's jogless, because I was using this trick. So, there's that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get through the things so I can open the things. Um, the Life in Long Grass magazine I wanted to show y'all. Do you guys remember I had like a whole collection of these and I was really bummed because they said they were going to stop doing it and then they did for a couple of months and now it's back. And I think I showed this on Instagram. There's owl people in here. That's not what they're called. That's just what I'm calling them. And cat people. Here they are. Cabin creatures. Look, look. <laughs> I want to make them. I'm going to make them. I'm gonna like when I go through my scraps, I'm gonna set aside some scraps for these. Um, these are the Cabin Creatures by Fumiko Nakao. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing that, but I probably am. But they're so cute. They're so cute. And as usual, there's five billion patterns in here that I would make. Look at that. There's, were there recipes in this one? Because the other ones, the former ones that I still have in my closet, and I admit I still haven't fully read through, um, <laughs> there were recipes. Here's 
There's a lot of cute stuff in here though. Was there a recipe? The other ones have recipes. Anyway, there's like articles. Look at this swancho. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, Life in Longgrass Magazine. Highly recommend. I love all of them, even though I haven't read them completely. I think they're beautiful. So pick that up. Is that it? That's it? Okay, last thing to show you is my spinny. Told you guys I was having trouble with the camel silk, the 50-50 camel silk. Still had trouble with it. That's fine. Whatever. I went ahead and plied what I did. I'm not that impressed with it. I don't really care. I'm never going to use this. Does anybody want some uh, thick and thin hand spun of camel silk? It's not the best. It's not the best. But I know I'm not going to use it. This isn't my color vibe. I literally bought it just so I could try camel silk. Um, and then I got another two ply the rest of this because I figure it'll at least be a mini of some sort. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to go ahead and ply it. But this is three ply. It's messy. It's messy. It's thick and thin and not great. It's not great. Whatever. It. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I did not enjoy spinning that. I told y'all that. Um, but when I went to DFW Fiber Fest, I did talk to like a lady that was like a hardcore spinner been spinning for like you know 20 years or whatever and she said fiber like that is more, like most more advanced spinners tend to do fiber like that because like the camel is a short fiber and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do it's finicky um so I don't feel so bad now because like I knew it was going to be a challenge to myself but I don't feel so bad now knowing that you know as a beginner I probably wouldn't have gotten that perfect anyway it's fine. Um, anyway, and then my fiber, I had shown you guys, I bought fiber from Create Yarn Works and I had dyed some fiber and I was going to apply them together. I did. I bought a woolly winder. They finally got back to me. Here's the thing. I bought a woolly winder to put on the ladybug on Endora and the circles that hold the yarn keep hitting the mother of all on my wheel, which, you know, if it's doing that, I can't use it. Right. So I reached out to them. I was like, dude, I can't use this. It, it keeps hitting. Theo's laying on the camera. I'm gonna have to move it. Hang on. Oh, you're a jerk. Don't move over. I'm trying to get it away from you, dude. You could have just stayed where you were. Stay. Okay, sorry y'all. <laughs> Did I make you dizzy? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Theo, man. Anyway, I told him he couldn't come in here and he came in here anyway because Benny's in here, but Benny's sleeping. Anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? Fiber. <sighs> Ew, yeah, but I bought the Wooly Winder and I can't use it on the ladybug because it keeps hitting the mother of all when it revolves around. And they finally got back to me and they're just like, well, bend, bend the little circles, the little metal parts towards the inside so it doesn't hit. Or you can also try putting a washer underneath your maiden to raise it up a little bit so it works. If I have to modify things and bend things, then really it doesn't fit the wheel. You can't say it's a universal on the shacked wheels if you have to do stuff like that to make it work, right? Am I thinking, like, are y'all with me here? If I have to like bend stuff and tweak it, it and add washers that I don't have, because who's got that kind of crap laying around? Actually, I might. <laughs> Leftover Ikea parts. <laughs> um, but still, my point is, it's supposed to fit all the shacked wheels. No problem, no tweaking, okay? I'm annoyed because this thing was expensive. Um, but... I do like plying on it. That's all I bought it for was plying. I like plying on it way better than plying on this. And you can tell this is a mess. <laughs> this is not. So I bought the Willy Winder Jumbo because I wanted to use it for plying. So I'm going to make the little modifications they said to make, but here's my thing. I'm going to do the thing with the washer first, because if I bend the thing, I can't return it. Right. Cause I've messed with it. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I can use it on Cersei, on the sidekick. It fits the sidekick, because the sidekick, like, all right, so the Ladybug 
is like this and then you got the spinny thing, right? The sidekick is like this and then you got the spinny thing in the middle. So I've got space here. So yeah, I could just use it on the sidekick. But then here's my thing, cause I'm that person. The woods don't match. <laughs> like this is for the sidekick. This is for the ladybug. Cherry, maple, cherry, maple. They're not the same. So if I'm only gonna use the woolly winder on the sidekick, then I would rather exchange it for the maple one so the woods match, cause I'm weird like that. I've been rambling, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, this is the fiber <laughs> that I dyed and the fiber from Create Yarn Works plied together. I knew they would go well together. So, yeah. But, like I told you guys, what I might do is ply them by themselves and make it a gradient kind of thing. So I'll have, like, my fiber, because my fiber was lighter than this, because it's the two marled together, and then their fiber, because it's darker, and it have, like, a gradient. It could be fun. It could be fun. Granted, there would be more of the marled then, because this is two bundles of fiber, and then this would be one bundle of fiber. I don't know. It was something to do. Um, I'm happy with this. <laughs> Almost done, I swear. Uh, this is the one of the Rolags I got from Silly, Silly Sheep Designs. This was Petricor. And so this is Petrichor here. And this light green is Malabrigo um, that was inside of, where did I put them? I don't know where I put them. Oh wait, is that them? <laughs> it was one of the little cloud tail bundles. Um, so that's what this light green is. And I just alternated them. So when I knit with this, if I left it as is, it would kind of stripe in a, like a light green and then petrichor and then light green and petrichor. But <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I did it and I only did one bobbin. So, <laughs> oops. Anyway, I'm going to, to apply this to itself. I could chain ply it to keep the color progression. I don't like chain plying. I hate it. I'm not good at it. I don't want to do it. Um, so I'm just going to wind this into a cake and two ply it. It was just something to do. I just wanted to use the Rolex. The other Rolex I have, the ones that have similar colors in them, I'm going to spin them all together. So I'm going to like separate them and weigh them and all that jazz. Um, but from what I can tell, I want to say there's like an ounce or two in each package. So putting them all together, I should get one skein, like a, like one and a half skeins maybe, depending on how many I put together. But I think this turned out pretty. I like it. We'll see what I do with it. And then if you guys remember... You may not remember, it's been a while. I had some Corydale in the Badlands colorway that I bought for when I decided I was gonna learn how to spin. And it was like one of the first fiber braids I bought myself. I finally spun it. I literally did this yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? Friday. I did half of it Friday and the other half yesterday. Um, so, fractal, fractal spin. So this is the long bits and this is the short bits. And I just need to ply these, but I need to clear off these. Maybe this one, since it's the woolly winder. Yeah. So I need to put this on the nitty knotty so I can ply these two together. Um, I mean, it might fit on one. No, it won't fit on one bobbin. Yeah, I need to free up a jumbo bobbin so I can ply them together. And I have no other projects currently that I'm working on. I haven't touched my blanket, haven't touched my shawl, my hope shawl. Yeah, I haven't really been doing anything. Like I worked on that cowl, I worked on some socks. Um, 
yeah that's that's all i've been doing anyway let's open mail okay i've been talking long enough right first silly sheep designs silly sheep designs got some stitch markers they sent me some tea that i now want to go find i haven't even tried it yet but i have a feeling i'm gonna love it um it's ceylon lapsang's Lapsang Shushong Black Tea, French Lavender, Red Rose Petals, Black Currant, and Vanilla. Black Lavender Tea. I love Lavender Tea. But Black Lavender Tea? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I want it. <laughs> the Lavender Tea I have, I think, is like Honey Lavender. Yeah, Honey Lavender... I have a chamomile lavender and then I have like a nighttime tea that has lavender in it I can't remember what else is in it it's something that makes me sleepy I don't know but I need more of this anyway these are the stitch markers look at this look how cute that bow is um and it came with this pin which I'm gonna put with something I'm gonna give away but a little Halloween jack-o-lantern I'm putting it with this yarn I'm going to give away. This is West 7th Wool, one of a kind Halloween colorway. It's going to be part of something I'm doing for you guys. Because um, I'm giving away that yarn I got from Whimsy Stitches, that Whimsy Stitches box on the Instagram. And for you guys, I don't have any more mini skeins. I mean, I have plenty of mini skeins, but how many more mini skeins I want to give away? <laughs> yet um so what i've pulled for you guys for halloween so far is this and this dolphina bag that i totally forgot i bought um but i mean it's a shawl size bag so so far this is what's going in y'all's october giveaway so far i'll come up with something else soon and then i can't remember if i showed this on here or not or only on instagram but i got another I got another fat squirrel fibers bag. I love it. It's so cool. She makes the best bags. And they smell, I don't know where she gets these lavender sachets from, but they're delightful. Um, oh, there's that Cormo I bought. I bought some Cormo to dye. Um, <laughs> but yay. Okay. This is mine. Um, Yes. Anyway, back to this. Back to this. Let's open. I want to say this is the couple's stitch markers I think I ordered. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's so many. Oh, and they're the same on both sides. There's Beetlejuice. Mortician Gomez. All right, so Beetlejuice and Lydia, although they're not really a couple because they didn't like each other, except in the cartoon. But I mean, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Mortician Gomez. Sorry about the glare. I don't remember their names, but the Corpse Bride. Edward, and I don't remember her name, Winona Ryder. <laughs> Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. And we've already been through this. The monster and the bride, they didn't like each other in the movie. It's fine. All right. Ah. Hannibal and Clarice. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Okay. And Jack and Wendy. I love this one. Okay. So there's those. I couldn't resist. So I got that. So the sheep designs. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a uh, this is from the Woolly Winder. Not really anything to show. It's an orifice reducer, which I discovered fits the Shacked Jumbo flyer as well. So I bought an extra one for that. It's just an orifice reducer. 
because when I ask the Shacked Forum people, the Shack does not make one themselves. They recommended I use some tubing or something or find one that's 3D printed and the Wooly Winder people have one. It fits, just FYI, this fits the Shacked Jumbo Flyer if anybody needs one. Because the yarn, I don't make bulky yarn on purpose. So the yarn bouncing around while I'm spinning drives me insane. So I got that. Um, let's see what we got. Bewitch Pigments. I might stop this after the October box because I don't, I'm not feeling the yarn. Honestly, all of the yarn I've gotten from Bewitch Pigments has gone straight into my giveaway bin, uh, which is now my D stash bin, but whatever. Jimmy Bean's Wool, that means there's the Malabrigo Club in here. Let me spinning box. And this is large. This is lamb strings, but usually that's just an, oh, I can't open this yet. This is my October advent. Okay, so that's going in the closet. Sorry, y'all. And again, I'm not doing Vlogtober. I'm just gonna do weekly. So I'm not doing Vlogtober or Vlogmas. So instead of doing daily, I will be doing like weekly videos which is what I've been doing lately, if you haven't noticed. Um, so it'll just be weekly videos because um, that's just easier for me. Um, so yeah, in October and December, weekly videos. November, I'll probably go back to bi-weekly because I won't have anything to show you. Unless I'm making stuff with my October stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Spinning box last. Let's open our Malabrigo Club from Jimmy Beans. Is that just showing y'all my address? Whatever. <laughs> Come at me if you want to. Benny will get you. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> Fun story. I did a giveaway with this bag, so I guess I'm getting it back now. It's fine. I like this bag, so it's cool. Trash. Where's my trash bin? <laughs> Y'all remember this? <laughs> Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Remember this? <laughs> remember this? <laughs> this is the Black Splatter Rainbow bag. I guess they brought it back because it wasn't available on the website for a while, which is why I gave mine away. Eh, maybe. All right. Malabrigo Club stitch markers. Oh, cool. They're black splatter this time. I'll keep these. What's the card say? Oh, it's a buy the craft. The craft event is available with Jimmy Beans now. Okay, fine. The yarn is Rios. I recognize this. This is lettuce. And this will be the special. This is polychrome. Not really my vibe. Um, they pair well. Not really my vibe though. Um, I'll keep the bag. I don't know, the yarn might, the yarn might have to go I don't know. I would use the green, maybe. The green's not bad, but I wouldn't use this in anything. It's just not my vibe. Um, hmm. Whatevs. Should I add that to the October thing that I'm giving away to you guys? I don't know. Meh. Okay, that's that. Open our bewitched pigment box. Do, 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 do. And then I think I'm gonna watch a movie. I've been in here long enough today. I pulled another bin worth of D stash today. So I just need to sit and put it on the website. Something smells like cinnamon. That's delightful. <clears throat> The yarn is based on cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, maple, oat, oak, and birch. Should be interesting. 
fiber goodies. Ooh, there's a fix it tool. Altar goodies, cinnamon sticks. I knew I smelled cinnamon. The tea is harvest spice, rooibos, cinnamon, ginger, and cardamom. Okay. And then a little thing about my bone. Okay. Spice cake recipe. Some bamboo fix it tools. Are they bamboo or birch? Bamboo. Cinnamon sticks. The tea, you know, like I said, the tea for me is the best part of the box. It's the tea. I could join a tea club, whatever. You know, I don't mind this yarn so much. <laughs> Autumn Spice. And it smells like cinnamon. Mm. Alright, I don't mind this one so much. But still, it's like, mmm. I don't love it. I like it. Don't know what I'd put it with. Mm-mm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, that's a bush pigment box. I literally just want to see what the October one is. Because, you know, usually Halloween themed things fit my vibe. I'll give it one more month. I said I was going to finish out the year, but I'm trying to cut back. So I'm going to give it one more month. We'll see. Spinning box time. The Faroe Islands. Ooh. There's a box cutter in this room somewhere. Do, do, do. This package is happy to see you. <laughs> right. Rich. <laughs> Got a postcard. Ah, oh, bummer. It's not a regular postcard. These are just the advertisey postcards. Is there no postcard? Don't make me upset. Penne with fresh basil and seafood sauce. No. Peach cobbler. Yes. Yes. Peach cobbler is always delicious. Ooh. What is that? Oh, that's beautiful. Pharaoh gold. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. It's not really black. It's brown because, you know, this is Pharaoh wool with yellow mulberry silk. I like, I like that. I like that. I don't know about this one. Uh, this is Faro Ram. This is Custom Blend Corydale Merino Soybean and Bamboo. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'd have to blend a sample or spin a sample to see what it looks like together. I can't. It could be okay. No, I'll do it later. Oh, a dye kit. Do I need a dye? No. Have y'all seen my dye table? Oh my god. What color? Oh, it's food coloring. Mm. I have the good stuff. <laughs> just not saying food coloring is bad. I'm just saying I have acid dye. I don't need food coloring. It's fine. Anyway, this is bean paste pink. <laughs> I wouldn't use it anyway because it's pink. And a little mini skein to dye. I won't use that, but I mean, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a dyer. I don't need it. Some bulb pins. Some earrings. Like some stud earrings. 
Oh, the rams. Little ram stud earrings. Can you see it? Oh, let me take it out. What if I didn't have pierced ears and I needed clip-ons, huh? Then what? <laughs> the little silver rams. Aren't they cute? It's hard to see with the reflecting. There we go. They're cute. I'll wear these. I'll clean them with some alcohol first, just to be on the safe side, because I'm that person. Um, what are these from? These are Corydale. Corydale fiber. I don't know if you guys can see the crimp. See the crimp. Glare. There we go. See how curly? This is one of those weird cream lollipop things. I don't like these. <laughs> There's no postcard. <laughs> I like my postcards, damn it. This is pretty. I like this. Okay. Is that everything? Is that all the mail? That's all the mail, friends. It's all the mail because the big box I can't open until October. Um, last thing, last thing, and real funny, I saw it on Grocery Girls, but I didn't hear about it from them. I heard about it from Aquila. I'm doing the Haunted House Mystery Cowl uh, by Telly Bean Knits, and I just want to show you guys the yarn I'm using for it. Um, I dyed these. They don't have colorway names. Um, well, this one does, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sister to the Fates, just black, it's just black. Um, and then these two. See, this is a yellow that I dyed that I don't mind. Come on, focus, focus, focus. It's like a harvest yellow. I don't mind this shade of yellow. It's not, <sighs> there's that. This is Cascade Heritage. Actually, yeah, these are Cascade Heritage. I don't remember the colorways. And this is Iron Soot, I think. This is like a leftover Hobby Lobby hand dyed. <laughs> the, the, what's it called? What's their yarn called? The Bee? be something. They're a hand dyed bee yarn. It was one of the first like dyed yarns I bought in like a box store back when I shopped at Hobby Lobby. So those are my colors. You have to have six. So these are my colors. And I was going to use different colors, but the recommendations and in the instructions recommend a green and an orange. So I had to base all my other colors around the green and the orange. Um, I was going to pair them with a purple, but they said that this particular color number, I don't remember which color it is, five, three, I don't remember, whatever color number this is in the uh, intro, it said it had to be, it was going to be a prominent color in the cowl, so make sure to pick something that you like, and it had to be a dark color, so I was like, I already have a black, so let's go with gray, so yeah. Cause there's dark and then there's very dark. So my very dark, I use black, of course. Um, so I'm gonna use gray instead of purple. Sorry, Bubba's. Um, because the purple that I was gonna use isn't really my vibe. Um, I mean, I bought it. <laughs> I don't remember what I bought it for. I bought it for something. Um, but this isn't very prominent in my wardrobe, but this is, so. They're similar in depth. So I'm gonna use gray. Anyway, I think it's autumnal enough. It'll be fine. Originally, I was gonna use shades of black, gray, and blue, but because of that orange, yeah. Trying to stick with the designer's recommendations. And who knows, after I make it, I might be like, you know, my colors would have worked and I might redo it. Cause you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm thinking the orange is probably pumpkin related. There are white pumpkins, ghost pumpkins, man. So 
once I see the finished thing, I might redo it with ghost pumpkins if that's what the orange is for. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that's basically it, my friends. Um, let's see. Next week, what will I have to show you? Next week is October. I'll start opening things next week because it'll be October 1st. I think it's Sunday. So I'll do a video on Sunday um, opening my first package of my October things. Um, I want to say I ordered three advents for October and three advents for December, I think. Okay, so October, I got lamb strings, I got Haverland. I have one more package. I have another package. One more package, sorry. I think about it. Um, Cause I got the Heathered, Heathered, Heathered Yarn Co. I always get them mixed up because there's Heathered Handmade and there's Heathered Yarn Co. West Coast, Texas. West Coast, Texas. Anyway, the the movie yarn. Uh, I showed you guys last time the, the one was May. Let's see what this one is. Maybe this will be the movie I watched today. Sorry. I thought I was done. Um, anyway, so I got Lamb Strings, <laughs> Haverland. I want to say I got one more. I got two Haverlands, but they're all Hammer Horror themed. I want to say I got something else for October, but I can't remember what it is. And December, I got Explorer Knits and Fibers, which I will not be getting again in the future. Um, Primrose Yarn Co., Woolens and Nosh. I want to say I got another one because Woolens and Nosh was just a sock set. I want to say I got something else, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway, let's open our last thing and then I'll, then I'll go. Okay. Oh, like it already. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Very nice, very nice. What's it for? Oh, I've seen this already. 28 days later. It's pretty. It's like his scrubs. This is the color of his scrubs when he wakes up in the hospital. Like, well, when he wakes up, he's naked because I freeze frame that because um, I was obsessed with Killian Murphy back in the day. <laughs> Should I admit that out loud? Anyway, um, when he left the hospital, he was wearing scrubs. So this is like the color of his scrubs. This is pretty. I really like this. Um, and I love that movie. So, yay. You're awesome, Heather. Yeah, see? Scrubs. Scrubs. <laughs> okay. See what the extra is. Not a chocolate bar. <laughs> if you watch my last one opening, you will understand why I say that. Um, ooh, tea. Pure tea. Mmm. Pure tea, cinnamon bark, orange peel, ginger root, anise, safflower, and sweet cinnamon. Mmm. -hmm. Yes. I want a little tin, a little black tin with a thing in it. <gasps> Brains. Wait, can you see it? Oh, me. I need something. Um, let me try this. Come on, uh, maybe, uh. it's brains, you're knitting brains. See it, okay. <laughs> Cute, and a little black tin. Very cool. Why didn't I do this last year? <sighs> this might be an ongoing thing. I might get this next next year too, let's see. So far, I mean, it's only three sock sets. Oh, yay. Oh, this is so pretty, I like it so much. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna go. I've been rambling. Y'all don't care. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to open my mail and uh, put
put it away while I'm in here. Um, look at all the empty space. Look at all this empty space, y'all. Look. And, and uh, Valerie was here. Um, Valerie and Jim were here. And I, I gave Valerie some fiber. So look, look. I have space for more fiber. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'm going to go. Have a good week. Um, I have to go into the office this week. Um, <laughs> and I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. <sighs> we'll do real talk on another episode. I've been talking long enough today. Um, and I'll talk about all the dumb crap I have to do right now. Um, but anyway, talk to y'all later. <laughs>